And I'm back from the crash. I guess I'll figure out how to stick these two things together on YouTube. So, for those of you that were wondering why there's two videos this week, it's because, well, I just crashed in the last one, which if you were listening to the last one, <laughs> you were like, probably the last thing you heard was, and it crashes. Bye. So, all right, we're back. Um, did you guys decide while I was gone? You weren't gone that long. <laughs> Uh, Sean, there's a a comment in the pull request from Rob that I looked at and went, huh, yeah, okay. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of context. You and Rob have way more than I do on this change. Um, your change looks reasonable. Rob's comment is interesting. Um, yeah, so, I mean, Sean's fix is inches away, if not correct, is inches away from being correct. I just have to, I haven't had a chance to go back and double look at it, but I think there's only something we were talking about, the naming of the function and that kind of thing. And he replied an email, and I just had to follow up an email too. Yeah, I remember that. That he, yeah, we just, he, I think he came around to seeing why I was thinking about naming it assign versus set variant or whatever, so we just need to kind of close on that, what that means and how to approach it. But otherwise, it's going to be the fix is something very, very close to what he has now. Okay. Seems perfectly reasonable based on my limited understanding of it, so... Um, so, okay, so we're, we're, we're kind of back to the question of is this a, you know, this is a hot fix for high priority issues or do we want to try to bring in more stuff? Um, I, I lean toward the former. I'd like us to, you know, realize that we have some critical things we should fix. Um, but I, I don't want to try to bring in a lot of stuff. All right. So 4,600 to get the corrupt binaries. 4,609, probably Sean's fix to get the, um, uh, the feature working and not failing. Uh, 4608, in or out? I took it into 310. Um, Multiple prerequisites return failure when first prerequisite is already installed and second prerequisite is installed successfully. Oh, and it, it's a, yeah, it's a trivial. It's a trivial fix. <laughs> trivial, yes. Complex logic. Small fix to complex logic. Well, yes. Is Sean's fix safe for persistent variables? It should work just fine. But Jacob brings up a good point. Do we have to worry about a 3.9 RC being restored by a 3.9 release? So if it's persisted and hidden, what happens when it comes back? Mm, that that does need to be tested. Yeah, Jacob, that's a good point. Jacob brings up a very good point on that one. So if you have a hidden persisted variable that gets persisted, but because the code wasn't working and it doesn't persist it, you know, encrypted, and then we fix the code, so now it loads it, and it thinks it's, you know, encrypted, and it tries to decrypt it, now you get junk, did we break the world? But, but if you have a new bundle, you won't be able to read the old variables, state variables, so that should be a problem. Oh, that's right. So, because they won't share, they won't share state stores. For reasons like this, because this kind of stuff is hard. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, I'm, I'm curious now about why people are referring to RC. Well, RTM. Isn't RTM yes. the bigger concern? Yes. RTM is the same as RC4, but okay. Um, oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, everything in Wix 9. Um, so I don't think we have to worry about previous bundles because they're not going to store these these things. So yeah, it's going to be a whole new world. So we don't have that problem. Okay, excellent. So if we're doing a bug fix release that takes these fixes um, well, what do you want to do? I was waiting for the end of that sentence well, I, that's where I'm stuck. I don't know how we like are. Are we taking these things? I mean, are we taking these in three nine and we're doing another release? Uh, yes. Okay. Are we doing a full release? As opposed to something we don't do otherwise. <laughs> I'm just asking. I, I, I. I, we're doing a full release for this because I mean we don't do patches and things like that. You well, you mentioned in the past the desire to like it'd be cool if could do a it patch. would. Well, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so there are two levels. One, we have not done a a servicing release for Wix in the past. Correct. We've not so, bothered. Sorry. We've not bothered. Right. Right. Well, you know, like. You know, 4600, I would not re-release for, it, and we did. Yeah, we would just drop the new zip file. Yeah, or it's, it? it's you know, it's it's pretty trivial. Um, but you know, 4608 and 4609, no, I mean that's. Yeah, you're not gonna uh, drop a new burn in. That's too hard. Well, although actually everything is inside the engine, isn't it? Yes. Uh, no, we standard no, we standard BA, which is in the ball extension. Oh, yeah. never mind. Um, so we have, okay. we have we have bug each bug is in a different place. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, I, single file replacements. I'm I'm like mm, mm, interesting. Uh, but okay, so I think we need to do we need to ship an update. Um, the second half of that is since we've never done that before is what form does the update take? Well, you know. It would be interesting for us to actually, you know, go the the whole patching route. Um, but my, that's work, and probably not really worth it. Um, so yeah, the simplest thing is just to do a, a full re-release. Okay. So a full re-release of 3.9, um, when? Well, we have two easy fixes done. Well, not done done, because we have to figure out the branching. But two fixes are done, a third fix is done pending some discussion, right? Yes. So as soon as that discussion happens, well, again, we have to figure out the branching, the build. Um, probably a good idea to do one build just to get bits available for folks who've indicated they're willing and able to test. And then 
either ship that or you know, do another build if if we have to. Right, ship that or do another build. Well, so, yeah. So Hopefully we need, ship that. We need to get the fix for 4609, and then we need to do a bunch of them. Um, um, juggle, juggle around to get the um, branches right. Right. Well, it won't be that bad. I'll just be cherry picking a few files, and I think. Uh, Jacob, yes, that would be the ideal. We do a build just to, you know, get the bits available. It's basically an RC. Yeah, he's talking about the update feed. Do we want to? Right, push? I know. And I know, and that's I'm. Ideally, we don't make this build available without. I don't want to make the build available until we've, or preferred, make it the preferred build from the uh, updater until we've proven it. Is yeah. that? That's a. I don't know if we can do that. Well, we can. We can have it not show up on the releases um, page, too. Okay. And just give people direct download bits and say, here, go get this version. Yeah. And we can send it out to Wix devs and stuff. Right, right. And the people with bug fixes. And then when we're done, we can push the changes so it shows up as a release on the website. We can move the stable uh, pointer to, you know, the new thing, get it on CodePlex, all that kind of stuff. Perfect, perfect. Um, it's work, but it can be done. Oh, my, Sean, that's... The thing is, 3.10 does have more stuff, but I don't know if there's any other stuff in those binaries. Maybe there's not. Uh, there are. 3.10 had a bunch of stuff for standard BA, right? And burn and the engine. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's not clean, but you could at least, you know, you could verify some. That's actually what we were hoping that that guy would do for the help binaries, but I'm not sure that he's actually done. Yeah, In 4609. So. But yes, that's a way to do it as well. Yeah, most of the changes are going to be pretty isolated. Okay. Not, you know, within a binary. So it means do a 310 build and let people beat on that more directly. Yeah, but I, I, I'm I mean, reluctant to, to then blindly ship that, those same changes on right. 3.9. Well, well, we could still do it with 3.9. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we want to get them into 3.10 anyway, and then, you know, cherry pick them into wherever we need to cherry pick them for the build. Yeah, well, you know, we're still going to build a 3.9 build, and we can not publish it widely and yeah. we're you know, certain it's good and all that kind of good stuff anyway. Fortunately, that process is separate. The publishing to the website is, or the making visible on the website is separate from the having the bits available to be down. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so close on the 4.609. Uh, and then figure out how to build a 3.9 build with the um, fixes for 4.600, 4.609, and 4.608. And yep. then um, figure out how to... Uh, and then build a 3.10 build that has all that stuff in it anyway, probably on Monday. So 3.10. So get 4.609, do a 3.10 build, just because that's normal. Yep. Get the 3.9 branch created and um, built from that. Okay. And then when we take the 3.9, then we can go push it back to master and update Wix 3.9 RTM branch. Or start tag or do an RTM dot one or whatever we want to call it. Yeah. For RTM plus. Um, RTM plus. <laughs> um, all right. So is that the plan? 
Jacob, what does MR stand for? Never heard of MR. Uh-uh. Never heard of maintenance release like that. Never heard it called that. No. It would confuse me. Mr. One? What does that mean? Mr. Big? I don't know. That's something else, right? I have no what idea. Do... Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't want to call it a service pack. No. Uh, because, you know, this is this is a minor update, but not a minor upgrade. <laughs> um, interesting. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to what to call it. Maybe just update. It's a re-release. Yeah. Well, the problem is we we can't really use the third, the major minor build number. Sure, we can. I mean, the build number will be bigger. Well, yes, but it means we can't call it you know three dot nine dot one. Oh no, not. Yeah, that field will be bigger, but not in a convenient, small way. Uh, well, okay, we can. It's only going to be a name anyway. It won't. I don't think it will be visible except as something we call it. It's just going to be, you know, Wix three dot nine dot whatever that build number turns into. Jacob, semantic versioning blows. No. And, and it's called a version number, not a version alphanumeric string with random crap in it. Oh, sorry. We're recording this, right? Damn it. Um, the the name's only going to be what we call it. It's It won't even show up in the... Um, It doesn't have to show up anywhere. It's just it's just another release of Wix 3.9. So that means we can call it all of these things. Yeah, Blair, I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, I don't know how well the build supports it right now, but I don't want to trivialize that last number either. It wouldn't work for the MSIs, though. The MSIs won't major up. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's, you know, it'll get whatever build number it gets normally from the, you know, the date. It, it basically comes down to you, you declare what something is after you have the version number. Because you don't go back and rebuild the bits to update the version number normally. Right, right, if right. If you have semantic versioning, you do, but that's one of my issues with semantic versioning. But yeah. honestly, that's my biggest beef with semantic versioning. Otherwise, I don't really care. Um, oh, Blair's saying change the third number and change the fourth to be a dot one. Well, we don't expose. Uh, do we? Actually, I guess we do expose the the full version number in the bundle UI. Yeah. It's not that big a deal. It's just it's a re-release of Wix. Yeah, right. it'll be. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Jacob. It's it's. It'll get what it what it gets. It'll end up being, you know, three dot nine dot twelve something something dot o. Yeah. And when we ship it, we announce it as you know. Wix 3.9 RTM plus slash update one slash Mr. One, whatever, you know. Yeah. We'll have to, yeah, publish the number. That's all. So people know which one they have. Right, right. And, you know, we can put it in history.md or whatever. We're not it'll, hiding it'll, it. It's just, it will be there. Yeah. Well, we will want to come up with what we want to name it. That's about it. What we want to call it. <laughs> we, we, we do have to get the branding right, unfortunately. So we can yes. discuss no, it in marketing terms, and that's it. I agree. I just, 
I don't. I don't want to. Honestly, you could call it RTM two. Because <laughs> like, that's what it is. It's just, it's the second RTM. Like yes. you can use the first one. It works. It has these bugs in it. You can use right. RTM two. It works better. It's the same thing. It's just better. And then there'll be a three. You know, and I'm pretty sure people understand that. You know, three ten. RTM two. Um, three ten RTM is better than three nine RTM two. And that three nine RTM is better than, or is worse than three nine RTM two. But anyway, that's the only thing you want to communicate. Whatever yes, that is. I agree. I, I don't want to mess with version numbers inside the build because we don't we don't have a way of saying this is you know we don't have a way of saying this is RTM two, like on the you know in the in the BA. So for that, let's just take the normal version number that we get from the build and. Yeah, the branding is separate. Branding is under our control completely. Yes. All right, so we need to figure out uh, 4609. That's the only thing that's blocking. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the answer at the bottom of that. That won't take too long. I mean... Sean, I've had no discussions. It's, it's honestly, it's just the the final naming and make sure we're on the same page there. Okay. Um, random thought we could do um, for future, if we wanted, um, we could put the bundle build number in the fourth number in the future. And of course, uh, not in the MSI, but in the bundle. That would mean that the MSI version numbers don't match the bundle version number exactly. But it would allow you to use the first three numbers for this. Sorry, sort of thing. I'm, I'm. What What do you want to put in the fourth field? We could move the build number to the fourth field. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, Sorry, I'm just here, so I thought I'd bring it up. Here, I'll go to the next slide, so we're not confused. Um, here's my comment about no. three nine release in three ten. <laughs> we could. <laughs> Move the build number to the fourth field of a bundle, because that would actually work. Now, of course, in MSI, it has to stay in the third. Right, right. So, so you're suggesting 3.10.0.0 dot 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 build number? Right. I'm, okay, I'm so only bringing it up as a, hey, you know, we learned something about 3.9. Right, right, right. But then the MSIs would keep the three-part version number. And the MSIs would have to keep, yeah, they have to, because we want the major upgrading. Right. But they're not visible. And there'd be no confusion on our part, which one was which, I don't think. <laughs> right? Well. This bundle has this number, this MSI has that number. You're like, oh, clearly those are, go together. Yeah. And then everybody would yeah, be like, well, why do you put it in the third part of the, why do you put it in the third part of MSI and the fourth part of bundle? It's like, well, for this reason. Yeah. Although, given how burn works, we could we we could use that fourth field. That's what I'm saying. The bundle uses the fourth field because it can. No, I mean, sorry. I mean, we could use the fourth field in you know zero one two order. Except the problem then is, so that works. So you need that if you want to release multiple builds of the same build in a day, which we don't do. Right. And I'm fine if we don't support that. Um, and but the but you need that number, uh, of course, to increase for the major builds. So it's like the only number you can change and make it the same as the third number in the MSI. Right. Yeah, it's worth looking at. Okay. I mean, it'd be trivial to do. Why don't you open a feature request? Sure. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to throw it out there. If people were like, no, 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 don't do that. That's a horrible idea. No, I think it's. I think it's worth looking at. Um. And it would that would also make it simpler. I think you know we could say, look, this is three nine. Oh, or you know, 310 oh, 
and we need to do a three ten one. Right. And normally you don't talk about the O when it's a, you know you don't talk about it when it's yeah. a zero because. Right. Right. This is Windows, you know, Windows, you know, ten or Windows seven, you know, SP zero. What? Right. 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 <laughs> I have SP zero. You're like, oh. <laughs> wait, did everybody get that when they got it? Well, yes, but I'm special because I call it out. You're an idiot. Um. So anyway. What burn logs say? Huh? Burn logs say that. What? You're an idiot. Uh, well. <laughs> Or they say there's no sur there's service pack zero. Service pack zero. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But that's just because I don't know. It's just easier to write it all the time than to not write it when it's not there. Yes. As a, it's funny. It's easier for the computer to always say it, and it's easier for the humans to not say it. Yeah. Um, well. That's kind of amusing. Uh, we are smarter than computers. Um, we just don't remember as much. All right. Um, anything else going out there? By the way, I don't like. I thought, oh, we could do this for three nine, and then I realized, no, wait, we can't because the build number would be way low if we went to dot one and then one is less than ten than one thousand and six. Yeah. Yes, and 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 I don't think it's worth it to try to juggle if it's not going to match what people see. It's just going to be weird. So, uh, which means technically we probably can't do it for three ten either. Can't do it for 310 either. Why Since not? We've already shipped. I mean, we can always say, "Look, you have to uninstall." Manually. Yeah, I, we only had one build out. I'm, a, I'd be okay with that. Okay. I'd be okay with that. With only one build out there, I'm all right with that. Good. All right. Anything else? Um, does someone take notes? Tell me all the things I have to do because I think I ended up with a whole lot of work here. Um, well, you and Sean need to need to conclude. Then yeah. we need to figure out the the builds. Do you want to do a, a new branch? Have to. I don't want to check these all. I mean, the alternative is to check them straight into master and then build off master, or create a branch and merge that back to master with the cherry pick. Well, I was thinking more on the build side that. The build machine side that I don't really know. Um, if it's trivial for you to point to a different branch for a build, then... No, I'll just bring the whole thing down and build it from scratch. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then branch and build. That's... Pretty much it, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> go review it, get that in, create a branch, cherry pick everything, do all this, then get a build server with a new branch, and that's it. yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole lot of stuff, but yes, yes it is. that that is, I mean, it's work. Yes, it is definitely. So, um, fortunately, I'm. I think I can. I actually will have time tomorrow to do all that. So, it's huh, actually cool. We'll be a little bit quiet um, yeah. on that front. And you know, I can do the branching and the cherry picking since, other than the forty-six oh nine, I've I did the other two fixes. So all right, that would actually help me a lot if you could create the branch off of master sure. RTM, the master tag, create a branch off there for whatever we name this. Ah <laughs> um, uh, yes. So uh, yeah, I'll leave that with you. If you could create the, if you could go figure out the name, whatever we're naming this, <laughs> from a branding point of view, you know, if you can leave that, and then do the branch and the uh, um, cherry picking, that would save me. Sure, not a problem. Yeah, I, I really think you want to call it RTM two or something. I don't know that update one's going to work. I was thinking update one just for the matching with all the other Oh, updates. the Visual Studiosms? I, it has been on my mind over the years. Uh, yeah, fair enough. 
Uh, we'll base it, Jacob. We'll base it off of the master tag. The we'll base it off master the R, the three nine RTM tag. There's a tag in there already for it. I mean, that's exactly the. I mean, that point is exactly the same as where develop was when we released it, and what was that? Yeah, I echo, I echo Sean. Those should be the same, right? There's been no no other commits made to master. Correct. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. It's the head of master. Yeah, probably it's the head of master. Now that you mention it, yes. Yeah, it's all the same. Sorry. I was being pedantic, but it's all the same. Well, this is Git. That's pedantic is important. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, yes, in the end, they're all the same. Um, yes, master and Wix 3.9 RTM are the same with the merge commit. That's it. All right, so I think we have a plan of action. I have to follow up on 4609 to keep this going and get a 310 build out Monday like normal. Um, oh. You'll figure out the name. You'll lead the naming charge and the um, uh, cherry picking, and I will figure out how to get the build server to build said branch. Although, honestly, I'll probably... Uh, I say maybe I just build an art master, but probably don't well, want to do that. Uh, I'll build it off the branch. It's no big deal. Okay. Once you have the branch, I can get the build machine to that point. Okay. Honestly, I can get the build machine to master. Switching to the branch will be a no op. Okay. Yeah, fine. That's easy. Sorry. Okay. Right. I just went through my head of all the things that will basically be no ops. I just had to make sure I get the branch switch right, but we'll build off of this branch, whatever it is, and then we'll do a merge commit back to master, and then we'll retag it, and that will be success. That and works. I guess we'll we'll push back to we will merge back to master after we declare the thing good, just in yep. case we have to make another fix on that branch. Yeah, uh, but that I mean that's the right call for master, right? It's it is the, no, it's the right thing. Just it's just in case. Yep, it is. Otherwise, we end up with a whole bunch of commits on master that. We really should not be doing. So no, it's fine. It's all good. I can go get the build machine hooked to master. That'll get it prepared, and then all that. Yeah. Okay. I think I can. That will not be that big a deal then. All right. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. All right. Cool. I know what I have to do. Um, anybody got anything else that isn't related to this update thing that we're talking about? RTM two update one. Wix three nine up one right as a tag. Anyway, or u one whatever you guys want to call it. I'm going to let you solve that problem because clearly I'm not thinking creatively. Looks pretty quiet out there. Nobody's typing that or they're just kind of amused by my rambling of trying to come up with a name that I'm not going to come up with. Um, going, going. Gone? All right. Like I said, this meeting was going to be fun. Uh, lots of discussions about that. Um, but, you know, we had, a, we had a good, you know, real discussion about version numbers and stuff like that, which, as we all know, are probably the second most important thing when it comes to software installation? Um, the first being naming. The first thing being... <laughs> I was going to say identity. Uh, a little bit uh, more specific yeah, than naming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although you can argue that version is part of identity and therefore they're all the one thing. But anyway... Okay, so the branding. Branding that. Branding and then version number. Branding is not the most important thing to software installation. Branding is a very really important thing to a community and people and humans. Uh, that's why in this conversation we had a very good point about uh, someone said, I think it was John saying, I don't care what the version number is, just make sure it made your upgrades, which is the yeah. correct answer. Make sure it goes forward and then brand that name, that number something that humans will be able to understand. And that's honestly mostly to save us from having people go, what? <laughs> yeah. And asking lots of questions. So, yeah, versioning, hard. Um, it's not actually hard. You just don't mess with it. It's okay. And we're not messing with it. Except in 3.10, where I don't care. We're going to go mess at 3.10 and make all those people uninstall 3.10. Um, but I don't care that much. Because that's early days for 3.10. All right, that's it. Um, that's all I got, Bob. No, I think I have enough to keep me busy too. Yeah, all right. Well, gentlemen, no ladies on the call that I can tell. Um, gentlemen, I think we're done for another day. 
until next week, if all goes well, hopefully next week we're talking about how all this stuff is out there and we're talking about how great it is and how we will be done before Christmas, right? Maybe? Something? Please. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Well, I guess we need to talk about the release time, but we'll do that after we get this going. Um, let's get it done, and then we'll talk about how we finish it. There we go. Maybe a New Year thing? <laughs> well, there are plenty of holidays to choose from now. There are, yes. Christmas present. Here's a new RTM after you did all the work to get the last RTM. That's Merry right. Christmas. Christmas cheer so you don't get mad at us. Sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye.